Welcome back to Man Art Creations. We're going to do a little different today. We're going hunting instead of hiking or fishing. I got the invite to go to my long neck ranch in New Valley, Texas. One of the premier big deer and exotic hunting ranches in Texas. I'm going to give you a little tour and let you check it out for yourself. Here I'm taking a 360 degree view right out in front of the lodge at Long Neck. That's the, there's their lodge that you stay in when you hunt there. heavy brush everything's got thorns there's some of the deer that they've taken off the place it, those are all 200 inch plus deer uh, they do have some high quality genetics on the place they have an extensive breeding program that they've been doing for over 20 years now access deer and black buck they also have on the place as exotics it's one of the master suites in the lodge with its own bathroom, there's out the back porch barbecue pit. You see some of the some of the sheds they picked up on the place. In the fireplace, in the far end down there's a full commercial kitchen, living area. There's a few more sheds that, that they they picked up, and then looking from the other end, from the kitchen area back, and now the Leopard didn't come off the place. That was obviously from Africa, but all the other animals did come off the All the other mounts were off the place. Yeah. The dining area, and then again, the full, full commercial kitchen inside the lodge. And uh, of course, we had a, one of the, of our party was just happened to be a longtime restaurant owner and a chef. Did all the cooking for us. And gentleman in blue is. Uh, Mr. Doug Ivey, one of the owners of the Long Neck. He's got this cone of rice. Three swirls. Yes. Tell those come right up to the yard there at the lodge, checking us out. Hey, lots of animals. You'll see lots of animals, lots of beautiful country, first class accommodations, we have first class food. It's one of the, one of our group cult, got a cull whitetail, and they call deer like that, you know, because it's just it's not ever going to be much, and they've got. There's one of the protein feeders out in the middle of the ranch where they feed protein to these animals year round in addition to the native browse. And they're just driving you around the ranch let you see what what the country looks like. Heavy brush, a lot of thorns, but a lot of good browse. It grows big antlers and big animals. They have first class accommodations and it's first class hunt. You know, blinds, supplemental feeders, protein fed year round. Like I said, it's a very intense breeding program. <laughs> phases. They got the white, the black, and the spotted fallow deer, all three on the range. And those are all just young 
youngsters. Nubbin bucks, if you will. They do have corn feeders with all the blinds. But the protein feeders are out, just out in the brush. And they also, like I said, they have a very, on one corner of the place, they have a, an extensive breeding operation with multiple pens, artificial insemination. This here's a Persian Ibex that they're breeding now. And that's, the, of course, the breeder, Billy. It's pretty impressive. Well, now they're breeding kudu. There's their breeder kudu bull, current breeder bull. He's really, he's a nice looking animal. Really wide. Well, that's a big animal. Think of an elk size animal. Much, much, much bigger than your white tail did. And then here's one of the current breeder bucks that they've got on the place in there with his girlfriend. He's a he's a heck of a buck. He's got he got a double row of uh, tines on on his main beams. I have no idea what he would score, but it's well over two hundred. Offspring get turned loose on with the native herd and of course breed with the native animals and like I said they got been doing this for twenty years so they've got some 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 deer that are running around the place that have those genetics in them for the last twenty years. And they just breed naturally now out in in the on the ranch. But that's a, and then here's the first First few mornings out of the hunt was really foggy. I, I have to apologize. That's the best I could do. But here's uh, three young eight points and one young ten point come into the feeder. It's hard to see, but they're all young deer. Could be could be really good bucks in another three or four years, but right now too young. And so I just filmed them and let them go. I didn't kill anything on the hunt. I was just mainly taking pictures and filming. Just now that the fog's lifted, I've been sitting in one of the blinds. They got really nice blinds, keep you out of the weather, windows you can open or close, see through, of course. And they're four by eight. So when you hunt there, they send a guide with you to make sure you don't shoot something you don't want to. Like kind of a rolling country. Really thick, really remote part of Texas. Not a whole lot of, not a whole lot of folks live out in this part of the state. Just a lot of big ranches, and lots of deer. Quite a herd of owl dad, and they were wanting to shoot owl dad, and I had a really that one. Just, you can see the one across the creek. There's one on the bottom of the creek. Just see his head above the brush. That, that, that was a trophy. But he would never give himself up. So I never got a shot. And later he got these scimitar horned orcs come out. And they were just, I don't know how many. I, didn't, I think there was 12 in this group. As best I could count. Most of them are females, believe it or not. Both males and females have antlers, have horns. Not antlers, excuse me. And... I didn't have the, you know, I'd love to have one, but I don't really, didn't really have a place to hang one right now, so I just let them all walk, just filmed them. But it's another species that's available on the Long Neck Ranch that you can hunt. They're still shot, a couple of still shots of them. They browsed around for quite a while. They eventually kind of noticed that my that window was open on the blind. I think they could see me sitting there because they kept watching me and get a little nervous and they wander off into the kind of one back up wander in the, back into the trees <clears throat> had enough of me they've, they've seen this game played before evidently but they're a pretty animal and 
big. They're, you know, again, they're they're probably uh, at least three times the size of a white tail, maybe four. You know, they did come back across the in front of me on their way down down the valley, but but this time they're they're moving out. They're going somewhere else. So if I just get a few a little bit of film of them as they decided to head down downstream. It was a lot of fun. I mean, you won't you won't be bored. I did a little fence check for him. <laughs> Walked the perimeter of the fence and checking for holes and damage. And came up on another group of orcs way in the back of the ranch. <coughs> One of the most, probably the most remote, remote part of the ranch. And I thought there was only two, but when they took off running, there came two more. So there was four in this group. <coughs> I didn't even have a gun. Well, I had a pistol. I wasn't even hunting. I was just checking fence. So I wasn't even. And then in another <clears throat> afternoon hunt here, and a couple of white fallow bucks come in. It's one of the many species that they have running around available to hunt. They're a pretty animal. These are all pure white coat on these two. And they got the big palmated antlers. We'll get a, a little bit later. Here comes a couple of does, fallow does. Come in to join them. We'll get uh, one of those bucks decided that the those two does were, were more important than the feed, well, than the feed. So the does start coming up the hill towards the blind that I'm sitting in. And, you see this one buck here decides he wants he wants to go with the girls. He, he's not worried about that food anymore. He wants them girls. So he must be the dominant one. The other guy he don't care. He just watches. He go back to eating. have any wasn't something I wanted to shoot and this this guy one of our group here Fossum he he killed a really nice bug I was pleased with that one and there's the Long Neck Ranch come and hunt it check them out if you're interested hope you enjoyed it we'll see you next time